Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. Once again, I'm up at the VK5REX D-Star repeater site. Another video for you. This time I'm showing you a simple logic probe that you can build, probably using stuff you've already got in your shack, which enables you to monitor the receive enable line. You will recall from one of my previous videos that um, I'm having some issues with my repeater and other people have indicated they've seen this as well where there appears to be a random noise on the receive enable line, the, the line that goes from the, the repeater hardware to the controller to indicate there's a, a valid signal. And after a period of time, it, it's like there's noise or random triggering, and in extreme cases, it locks on. Now, I'm able to see this because I've got the N5 EBW board fitted to my, um, my repeater, but not everyone has that. So I made up a very simple device which is a, an RJ45, an LED and a resistor and some wires which can monitor the receive enable line. Now the, the ground wire is, is on pin 3, receive enable is on pin 5. Um, looking from my left, your left as well, and uh, I've just got like a 33 ohm resistor in, in series with the, with the LED. Um, the output volts is around 3.3 volts, so that's about on the mark for the resistor. And what this does, I can remove the existing cable that goes to my controller. I can plug this in. And when I key up on my radio, I've got the uh, ID31 here, you'll see that the LED lights up. As I, as I transmit, you can see it's lighting up. Now, if my repeater was exhibiting the same symptoms as in my previous video, this would be flashing and flickering like the uh, LED board. And um, it's very, very simple to make. Um, I've made a little document. I've got it up on the download section of the VK5REX repeater site. Or you can send me an email and I'll send it through to you. And this is a very simple diagnostic tool that will show if you are exhibiting that same symptom. And uh, once again, a power off and a power on will fix it, but it does tend to return. So this is a very simple way to determine if you have the fault. Um, probably not even a dollar worth of components here, and it's a very simple diagnostic tool. And we'll plug that back in, and we're ready to go. So this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Seven threes for now, and we'll talk to you again soon.